Here we are, back again. Two treatment, two treatment rooms back. That is what we're here, we're here but tell a friend, please. Um, two treatment, this is two treatment room commentaries. I am one of your hosts, Gary Hill, tonight, today, this afternoon. Uh, sun is shining, snow is melting. Beautiful day in Indiana. Uh, <laughs> um, with me, to, yeah, with you tonight is uh, Mr. Cameron Scott. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantabulous, man. It's a beautiful day out here in Illinois as well. It's nice and bright and sunny out. Almost makes you want to go outside. Almost. Oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my friend, my my colleague from the NFW Commentaries podcast, Mr. Wildman Willis. How you doing, sir? I'm good. I cannot complain whatsoever. Nice, nice. Uh, we we have joined together again. Uh, harmoniously, I guess, to talk through uh, the 1983 Red Brown, dare I say, classic, You're the Hunter from the Future. People like Red Brown, don't they? I'm just curious about that one, you know. I, I, I like him despite his acting capabilities or lack thereof. I like him. Yeah. He's fun. Yeah. He, he's fun, you know. He was the first <laughs> Captain America I remember watching on TV. Yeah, this is yep, true. Same. This is true. But um, if you guys get your film synced up with us, we're going to go into this in three, two, and one. Hey, go, Lady have, Columbia. I was going to say, Nut Benning, uh, a.k.a. Columbia Lady. I just always thought she looked like a Nut Benning. But that's... Yeah, in a way, yeah. I can see that. So this is the first uh, two drink minimum in a while, huh? This has been a long time. I, I keep saying it's going to come back, and I want to stockpile some episodes. So I'm trying to get them in on the weekend. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that works out for us, and um, some more folks that have made it, but they have other show obligations. So your <laughs> oh theme music, I love it. That music, man. And then, this was actually a, a mini series over in, I think, Switzerland or some shit. They actually have a. Actually, cut this from the um, mini series that they made over in a foreign country when they bought this out as a movie. Uh, all I know, it's all yours. We're, we're, we're all living in, okay? You know. <laughs> when James Brown said, "It's a man's world," I, I, I think he's still talking about your. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Running around those rock formations that look awful penisy. Oh yeah, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> That's because they're Italian, right? <laughs> right. Hey, forget about it. I oh, they, kept the, they kept the stumble in the in the cut. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get this fucking song from my phone. It's fucking amazing. I remember yeah. he used to play this on HBO to death back in the day. Probably showed this in Beastmaster back to back. <laughs> At least in the same day. I'd have been the ultimate crossover, Yor and fucking Dar. <laughs> the the line delivery, I am Dar. I am Yor. This is based on a comic book, too. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a copy of it about a year ago, and I found one, and fortunately it was about $475. I'm like, yeah. no. He told me they in a rush to make uh, um, trade paperbacks of it. <laughs> nope. Oh, they look hungry. Somebody give them a sandwich. <laughs> These children. These kids are highly uncomfortable in these scenes. They're just like, listen, tell this adult man to... Put me the fuck down. <laughs> well, you know, American traits, if you ever were the Cub Scouts, and they still do this to this day, 
when you get your first your first official badge, they still turn you upside down to put it on you. So it's it's pretty fucking traumatic <laughs> at six years old. Yeah, I'd say. Hey, not it's not Adrian Barbeau. How you doing, baby? <laughs> Let's see what's under those dressings. <laughs> It's it's a spiny lizard. Yum yum. <laughs> what Stephen Baldwin kill an extra from the Muppets. What Stephen Baldwin say at uh Biodome? That's a tasty dactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie B The most the most underrated of the Baldwins in my opinion. Hmm. It's the first time in history it's it's a lot better to be Stephen Baldwin than it is to be Alec Baldwin. That's what yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I'm in I'm indifferent on that. Yeah. Listen to me. Oh yeah. Somebody built that thing though, and I gotta admire that. Right. I mean the horns look rubbery as fuck, but you know. I, I don't care. Somebody built that thing, and I love it. I'd have that fucking thing in my backyard for kids to play with. <laughs> They'd enjoy the hell out of it. Oh, he's rubbing me with his erect horn. Oh, you're you big. Look at you. That's some fucking man. That's oh, no, better. My loincloth. That's better than Shatner, man. That fucking roll and dive right there. That's at least like Tim Allen Galaxy Quest type roll and dive. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> Me why? Too. Why are you rolling? <laughs> he keeps pulling his shirt down every time he does it because he's too fat. <laughs> I guess it's true. <laughs> yeah. I scream across the valley. Give me the Dracona and this Triceratops. <laughs> Fuck yeah, y'all all gonna eat tonight, bitch. We have Triceratops steaks. Man. <laughs> you drink that blood, baby. That's the blood of champions right there. Yeah. It turned you into a sexual tyrannosaur. Just like Just me. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the blood go from looking red to looking like Worcestershire sauce? Because they're having triceratops triceratop steak for dinner, so it has to be that. They could got color, so it can be tasty. James Pog? Your toys were lame in the 90s. It's a necklace, man. That's what it is. I've never seen another one like it. It might be Asian, but I hate those people. <laughs> Get it on, Bang Gong. Fuck Red Brown. I'm just trying to figure out who's got more mascara on her or Red Brown. Oh, I don't know. I have seen it glint on her chest. How does his chest glisten in, in the, the prehistoric uh, wastelands? Where'd she get lipstick at? They say she descended to the earth. In a All right. Life. That's just twigs and berries, bro. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, come your indeed. He will do that shit later. He feeding all y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> for, for Mako to say, oh, the women. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and push the fucking fur on. This bitch is cold, y'all. <laughs> this has been sitting out a while, man. Shit. <laughs> the horse is about to churn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sasquatch is back. Yeah, I like the big some jerky out of the Triceratops, goddammit. <laughs> she can move, though, bro. Look at her. She's got some moves. That's right. Get it. I'm going to have to mute things from my end for a minute, guys. <laughs> <laughs> really, as an ass man, I can appreciate that. She's shaking what she, she, she doesn't have. That's okay. I ain't mad. This looks like Tenacious D's version of the Sasquatch. <laughs> in search of Sasquatch, that was a cake as in search of. Why are their faces blue? I don't get. Oh, damn. I was say it could be John Carradine, but it's not, probably. Yeah. <laughs> John Carradine would have totally put a Sasquatch in 1983 if he could. As long as he Are we was sure the, he didn't? As long as he was king of the Sasquatches. Flash dance? What a feeling in my loin cloth. <laughs> double the pleasure, double the fun. Shade away those furry boots. Let's go, let's go knock them. You're so different from the other men I've seen. Kill them. Oh. Uh, have, you seen, have you seen these men? <laughs> the blue <clears throat> damn scratch. Why is that one dressed like Captain Caveman? I'm, I'm just curious, yeah. Bunga <laughs> bunga! <laughs> you know, somebody got their head literally busted open during that. You're, oh, you're, yeah. It's, somebody it's, got stitches. It's irresponsible stunting, yes, for sure. Roar! <laughs> not to make me angry. You're not like me when I'm angry. It's like I watched, I watched the new uh, Resident Evil today, which, you know, besides it being filmed so fucking dark, it wasn't so bad. Yeah, I wa I watched it a long while back. It wasn't that bad. It just it was so dark in places. I like I was like I'm watching Alien vs Predator two. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. But uh, there's a, a walking flaming man scene in that that movie that if it was made oh, in the, yeah. if it was made in the eighties, that guy would have really been been on fire, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know, other than, uh, like, what you said, Gary, other than that being a little dark, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. I like Welcome to Raccoon City. It was more faithful to any of the games than the, the previous. Oh, it had a lot of member berries up in that motherfucker, you know. A lot, a lot of wide shots of, you know, oh, yeah, I remember that from the video game. Because <laughs> <laughs> the damn, um, the damn police station looked, looked, looked like the police station and the train station, all that shit looked like, looked like the video game, so. Itchy Wait. tasty. He's got to get that debris off his, his clubbing device. Oh, slash walking stick. The Geico oh. caveman will not be there to save us at our mm -hmm. car insurance. Hmm. Ain't some of these voices dubbed over. No, they have to be. I think even Red B Brown's voice is dubbed over. Yeah. Much like another... Oh, yeah. The famous hero with the music, you know, his voice is not his voice either. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> Who are you? Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York Jets. That's not my voice, you know. <laughs> the only quarterback in the picked up I'm glad a couple there. of those. I said my mom picked up a couple of those um figures for my birthday. Oh, nice! The, yeah, um, the Walmart. She got me um Flash and me on on the car backs that's made from the old um '80s cartoon. Cool. And I was about to buy them at the store and they put them back down, so. Mom must have been reading my mind or something that day when she picked them up. <laughs> and the 
Save yourself. He knows all. <laughs> He looks like a bimbo, I know, but he will protect <laughs> you. With his dyed blonde hair and, and glistening skin. I was going to say he's got that fair faucet wig going on. <laughs> it moves with him, so I guess the wig work is fine in this movie. He looks like Xandor off of Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. Probably not. That's the tagline, right? Yeah. Right, right. So he's a so gentleman. Like he's, real discreet light. He's not, into the street. he's not grabbing her butt, so he's a gentleman, see? Yeah, that's not going to hold you. Dude, this shot is just to show you how thick his muscles are. And say, hey, what was he going for? What the hell is that? A I ain't cape. seen this in a while. Oh. Uh -huh. A cape for her to put on. Yeah, she's cold. Here. So you're not uncomfortable when we're having, you know, relations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'll stand guard all right, man. Just, uh. Don't touch her, dude. That's how that guy died in Creepshow 2. Temptation. <laughs> well, that and, you know, taunting a creature of the ocean that could possibly eat him. You know. That guy deserved to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be watching that at 12 years old and seeing that old. I beat you and it's like, no, no, you, you haven't. You haven't. <laughs> The, the car battery lasts longer than you. That's a fucking miracle right there. I know, right? <laughs> I can wrap my head around a lot of things and suspend my disbelief, but I could not suspend my disbelief enough to believe that that car battery lasted as long as it did. Kill that freaky bird, old man. Uh, I'm trying to wrap around head around who this guy looks like. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say prehistoric like elderly Bluto. I was gonna say prehistoric George Buckflower. <laughs> Excuse me. They were here. I'm too late. You can smell the sex in the air. She had about a 40 second rest. Now they're just walking again. Some great locations in this movie, though, when you think about it. I'm not sure exactly where it was filmed, but it's beautiful. I will look that up right now whilst, whilst we're uh, having this conversation. Oh, more cavemen. Hmm. It looked like they look like the Beast Man action figure, Willis. <laughs> Remember the one from the eighties, Willis? You know the one's all on. Uh -huh. all, all they're missing is that emblem in front of them. George Buck flowers to the rescue, yeah. Nah, you know what they look like? They look like one of Hordax man. <laughs> what what was his name? Grizzlow? I, I more I, like yeah. him. Yes, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Missed him by that much. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> this guy take one sword fighting class. He thinks he's the fucking bee's knees. <laughs> they got him now. His power is now mine. Oh, gods of rock and water, I, the great Ukon. No! No, not the great Ukon. Yeah, what are you going to do, honey? <laughs> she all late. Take her back to the cave. No! 
A clear cut case of too little, too fucking late. All right, Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> No, he directed. <laughs> this is directed by Antonio Margaretti, and it, he he made a lot of Italian trash, and including a film called The Last Blood, which I can almost guarantee is a first blood ripoff. Let's, let's see. Bah, bah. No, it's it's first blood like, but not a first blood ripoff. You know. Yeah, I thought this was Italian produced. I couldn't remember. Yeah. You know, last time I watched this was like a little over a year ago, but it is aged like fine cheese. Yeah. You get a cheap Blu-ray of this. Uh, I heard folks have seen it at the freaking dollar store for from Mill Creek. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. I might have to peruse the dollar stores for that. Why did they stick their thumb on my ass? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, a, f- filled in three knuckler. Yeah, filled in Turkey for the most part, um, with uh, some in studio stuff in, in Rome, Laz- Lazio, Italy, at the studios. So mostly in Turkey are the exterior stuff. Nice. Istanbul. <laughs> they got the woman. They're doing unknown sexual acts to her that I cannot name right now. But please let me try. Oh boy, <laughs> that's, that's that's some shitty women's rights right there. <laughs> she got kidna- kidnapped by a tribe of Hordax men. <laughs> she is theirs now. Yeah, even doing the dancing and shit. In later tales, the kids will call her Cum Dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting, children. Caveman name was Old Dirty Cumrack. <laughs> <laughs> they hit her like a tube sock under the mattress. Man. <laughs> this guy got some fancy leggings on, I'll tell you that. Uh huh. That dude has a big fucking head, man. <laughs> Those stakes look kind of harmless, I'm throwing it out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the little drawbridge. <laughs> He's got a pretty cool throne. Be ashamed to waste all this sex on it. Be ashamed to waste this in my private room we got going on here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he even looks like the homeless king from Street Trash. He's got the bone, he's got the bone knife and everything. They're probably related, I'm sure. <laughs> Direct descendant. Yeah, Hobo King and uh, the, the, the black hobo in the supermarkets are uh, my two big takeaways from Street Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Love Street Trash. And that, that guy that's in Frank and Hooker is in that movie for a hot second. <laughs> this is how the accused happen, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Are one of these cavemen, Leo Rossi? Which, if you think Leo Ross is a sleazy in uh, Halloween 2, go watch The Accused one time. You know, is it, uh... 
You'll have the same yeah. you'll have the same vision, just slightly worse. Yours world I fashioned me some wings. That bird was not that big. I'm just gonna throw it out there. But he just fucking Howard Hughes that bitch. <laughs> So my favorite moments in cloth mishaps do you think were in this movie during oh the, the budget is insane it's probably all fucking made of muskrats and raccoons and shit though <laughs> give me your finest hobo furs <laughs> we're on a budget god damn it we gotta build structures that glow like that one Oh, those are real skeletons, probably. I bet. <laughs> for, for, from the dead crew, that, that irresponsible stunting. Well then. Yeah, that'll fix them. Yeah. That, that fucking flaming mm. statue looks like something that's given them by fucking Kali Ma or something. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for all the children to run out. We had delayed them for about 12 seconds. We got another one, goddammit. Made for the bones of yours descendants. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's not good. That's not gonna do much. Understand. That water is slowly coming out. Not like that. No, it's not. Yay, bath time! <laughs> is there a secret weapon giving these motherfuckers a bath? Yeah. <laughs> that's about as inconvenient as a fucking wave pool. <laughs> well. Unless you're at Action Park or something. Or wave pools can kill you. <laughs> yeah, if you kids don't know that, why is that? It was an amusement park of death in New Jersey. Well, watch the documentary one time, guys. Oh, they oh, ruined their second. all that great miniature work. It, it looks good, though. No. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it looks good. They ruined our second bridge. Ain't got no one now. You know what the sad part of this film is? That old man's teeth is probably the only one we're going to see throughout the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> old man pizza breast. <laughs> Singular old man titty. Hey, I got my necklace back. Wait, he did. Did we even see him get that back? I don't know. Or did he just magically get it back? I don't know. Unless him and Captain Caveman are related, they get the same necklace. You know, plot point. All right. I'm go bongo. <laughs> <laughs> Those crags look like titties. <laughs> That crack looks like Paddington Bear. Look at his head. Right there. I there. know, right? S somebody get that statue some marmalade. It's fucking delightful. <laughs> That's one of Gary's feel-good movies, Paddington 2, yo. Just, just watch it. You know, tell me different. I'll take your word for it. Come on, man. He goes to prison and churns all the prisoners' hearts by teaching them how to cook and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking adorable. Falsely accused, I might add. There's, there's no justice for a bear and a, and a, and a, and a coat in them, you know, in these movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, they look very warm considering how hot the sun is. Oh, 
Your mom was a great crevice of the earth. I don't know. This is the land of the diseased. Smoke? That's from Tommy Chong. Your mom is a land of the diseased. See, these jokes write themselves, people. I'll be back before daybreak. It's already fucking day, you fucking moron. This is kind of right. So he's gonna be back in like eighteen hours? Like what? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry. Last night I had a dream that I was gonna have sex with you. Oh she had you tied down. That's all that was. Yeah, how did her hair stay I so had a perfect? Dream about you. <laughs> when I woke up I'm, I I was dry as a bag of sand. I come back the dam broke and it was all better <laughs> wait that actually happened <clears throat> when are you turning back? I'll be coming back with more hair care products so I can hold my hair together even better because her hair and yours hair is like you know perfect for being in the wasteland I, I want to know how your got such a clean shave <laughs> He had, the, he had the hobo bone knife going on. Just give himself a quick <laughs> trim. He used Manscaped. <clears throat> oh, Is there a nair in the wasteland? Oh. Give yourself a nair mohawk. I've seen that video before. Oof. Some hillbillies are extra hillbillies. We are the people of the dirt. <laughs> we are the fighting Urukai. All of a sudden, this turned into turned into Hills Have Eyes sequel. All of a sudden, <laughs> we roast Fire the mar- burn. we roast the marshmallows. Man, we just want to invite you to a barbecue, yo. What's fuck? Hence, the first California wildfire was started. Yeah. It's like, fuck your flaming club, motherfucker. It's really a fucking twig, though. I don't even know why they're even saying, hey, this looks imposing. They just keep on coming. He's going to make a jump over that thing. Nope, he found a hole. Oh no! Superpower always finding the hole. (laughs) Oh, does that mean sex? Hmm. That has to mean sex, right? Giggity. Again, the fucking Milo is flaming. Blow that shit out, man. Right. It's dead already. The hot dog's burned too. I'll, I'll enjoy a good burnt hot dog every once in a while, but not all the time. I keep waiting for Bot to come out from Logan's run. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Farrah Fawcett. I am Galadriel, Lady of Light. I will have sex with you now. Uh Uh-huh. Get it in. (laughs) Where are they getting all the hair product? I just want to know. For the same prop master that you got yours from. Yep. <laughs> See what happens when you reach the upper level. You get a glow. And you get a medallion. And why the ice has formed in this spot is a mystery without an 
I want them to explain the Sharknado-like science of the ice underneath the desert. Well, it's like, uh, oh, what was it, the Solar Babies, when they had the, the glacier on our underground with Jamie Gertz's people. <laughs> <laughs> Is the fucking Omega Man lepers over here? They got the same kind of sores going on. That's all she really wants is a man without sores. Have you checked his penis though? She's probably definitely got the gun of her Pacific legs. <laughs> <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> Not Hep C, though, because she's not a whore. I came looking for you. I was told of your existence. I don't know how I got here, but they will never let me leave. You see, these people are threatened by the. It seems like to me you could just walk the fuck out. Yeah. She's commanding them. Oh, this is like the Wicker Man, then. Oh, shit. Corn rigs and body rigs. <laughs> Not the bees. <laughs> Not the bees. <laughs> Corn rigs are bonny. See, that would be a clear end of that movie right there. If you, you, all you had to do is... What happened? <clears throat> well, no. My Skype had just cut off. Oh, I'm sorry, Willis. It was updating or something. I have no idea. Yeah, the, the the surefire end of the Wicker Man's plan would have been if he just if Edward Woodward just fucked Britt Eklund. You know, that's all he had right. to do. You know. Then I'm in a real goobo, gibble gobble one of us uh, situations. He had to stay then. Cause she seemed very fertile. The harvest came in. The harvest. The harvest came in that year in the form of Captain Howie Seaman. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture, people. I'm mad that you're traded up on one girl to get another. You got a better <laughs> one though, bro. Come on now. It's like, damn, bro. Leave, leave some pussy for the rest of us. You're the only one without any sores, at least visible ones. You're tiny and and and, and uh, short. In the industry later on in the future, they will call you a spinner. <laughs> That's right. No, oh, she's got dimples, bruh. <laughs> nope, not taking it. <laughs> Kick him in the balls, your. Yeah. Dude, those those apples look awful dry. Just set their asses on fire. Uh huh. Almost hit him. Almost. Stop! Stop! Oh yeah, finally he gets it. Oh! oh. Did he did he fall some kerosene? Damn. <laughs> She did say the lamb was polluted, though. Yeah. So it could be one of those Lake Erie got caught on fire situations. <laughs> I wish I could have seen that. Now, fire it up! Fire it up! Oh, she got hit in the noggin, bro. <laughs> This is your shot, Yor. Get some. Unconscious love. No, she, she came to that fast. After a fucking st stalactite struck her in the head. <laughs> no head wound, no nothing. <laughs> Not even the complimentary cut above the eyebrow, man. No. She thick skull. Mine was a bit too loud, listeners. I apologize. 
during the loud scenes. Like you're screaming and these people screaming. Hmm. Oh, the earth is quaking. Everybody's shaking. Better get out of there. You'll be staying alive. Staying alive. You got the blonde out of there. That's that's the big takeaway from this scene. Here, I found another one. In the future, they will call this a three-way. Or a thruple, perhaps, if you're trendy. Mm-hmm. Because I am your hunter from the future. I take many women. She's pissed, too. Yeah, she yeah. ain't having none of that. <laughs> Like, here's a piece of brush for a blanket, I guess. Fucking bitch. Ooh, I want to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> See? <laughs> Gosh, she is dead. Look at that shit. She had a little ass on her out there right now. Loincloth is moving right with it. You're a good uh -oh. man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I doubt the structural integrity of that thing. Yeah, well they had some good some good twine going. Now the better question is how the fuck are they pushing that rap with those sticks? I mean, it's not like a gondola or anything. What the hell? <laughs> <clears throat> this boat is fueled by sexual tension. Some serious side eye going on. I hear grunting. Pedal faster. <laughs> Wait, do you hear banjos? Because I hear banjos. Oh yeah, there should be banjos. <laughs> or at least some fashioned in instruments brought by the cavemen. See, she wants them, man. This is a clear sign of invitation. Yeah. See, he's, she's even telling you. That is the green light, Yor. Get Damn. it in. He dirty as shit. And he know it. Well, Willis, you and I know that it'd be awkward to, to, to bang the other one with her father sitting there. Just, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you probably watch and probably jerk off, maybe. Making some glue for that boat of theirs. <laughs> like, like Cameron said look at the way that water is going that shit would not hold up <laughs> no I've tied <laughs> I've tied together this debris uh, tight enough that uh, a hunter from the future would do and it's going to hold together just fine Yeah, I bet yours is a firm believer. As long as I come, it's okay. <laughs> you won't even finish her off. Yours does not suck his own semen. <laughs> I mean, only, he can, but well, he just chooses not to. But say only by himself. <laughs> <laughs> because if yours believes, you can put his mouth over his own penis. Everyone should believe. Oh boy, that's that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I smell the sex on you. I'm gonna no, fight. Was... I'm gonna fight. There you go. Your loins have touched yours loins. Look, it's an episode of The Bachelor. 
Oh yeah. Huh? Gonna be a pretty mouth. <laughs> gonna be a gangbang. <laughs> this is just how the Hills of Eyes happened, uh, Cameron. You know, they're gonna kidnap the women yeah. to make, make babies. Pluto. Papa Jupe just took one in the back. <laughs> exactly. She keep on getting hit in the head. Ruby. Ruby just want to take that baby, goddammit. Classic Papa Don't Preach moment in that scene. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine Danny Aiello was a hill person. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know that I want to. I've been feeding these kids all their lives. Cannibals. Meat from the road. They just burn up a hill at the end. Because of racial tension. It's <laughs> still in the water. <clears throat> yeah, he's floating. You're getting clean. Oh, they fucked up his coos. Oh, what's wrong with these people? Can't make hill babies, you know, hill children without, uh, you know, her being conscious and stuff. That's just ungentlemanlike. <laughs> see a giant stone formation and that's your penis yo <laughs> hard as a rock see you're as a firm believer in hit it and quit it even if it's by accident I know right <laughs> cause she go die is this like a, a skywalker moment is gonna give the confession late that like listen I'm your sister <laughs> <laughs> They may, they may drink blue milk out of a disgusting looking animal, too. <laughs> that might be in the, in the uncut version of this, so you never know. <laughs> just, just like Yor, he's probably uncut. <laughs> oh. Why in the hell is she sad that she died? She just tried killing her like five fucking minutes ago. Stonehenge! Bring out the midgets. Well, the banshees lived and they did live well. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, oh. I will kill many cavemen in your honor. Your cruise was all right. Not the best I've ever had, but it was fair. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Oh, she found the ocean. Oh, yeah, because they don't have water, so she's really excited. Oh, you can still drink it. You're not supposed to drink. Right? If Kurt Russell could piss into a filter, and I mean, uh, not Kurt Russell, Kevin Costner could piss into a filter and drink that shit, she drinks some salt water. Mm-mm-mm. I also learn from movies that if your aim is true, you can piss in the radiator. Thanks, Red Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> I have trouble enough pouring any freeze for a bottle inside a radiator, you know, let alone pissing in the radiator. I mean, that, 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 uh, that dick control is amazing. <laughs> Fish. 
<laughs> they didn't even fucking clean that fish at all. No. This is how the bay happens, people. This is how the bay happens. <laughs> Show. If you have I, animatronics to fight. Yeah. You know, the fucking creatures is for probably as low budget as this is. They're pretty goddamn good. Yeah. Except that part right there where you can see the shadows running in front of them. Goddamn inconvenient brush. You swing this tree branch. <laughs> Woman, you're supposed to not let that fucking fish burn, okay? Oh, they have a newt in their midst. Midst. And a Mowgli. Damn, that's an ugly kid. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stab that thing in the eye or something? Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, this is Italian film. That's going to kill him. Yeah, you shot him in the eye. Instant death. That's the rules of Italian film, right? There, there, Cameron, that uh, if you shoot it in the eye or stab it in the eye, they're going to die? Yep. Basically. Quick way to die is right through the eye. Poet and didn't know it. Excuse me. Say the big chunks for the chili, sir. Man. <laughs> Listen. George Buck Flowers. Shut the fuck up. Well, I give this movie one thing. At least the creatures look cool. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> it moves along pretty quickly. It's got a brisk, brisk pace about it. Doesn't, yeah. It doesn't dilly-dally around. I mean, a lot of sword and sandal films like this. Like a, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, it plays a lot like a video game. They just like keep leveling up and going from one level boss to the next. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these certain sandal films, like I could talk to, like the first Deathstalker film, stuff like that. It, it moves at a like a like a boring pace, you know. It, it feel, you feel that hour and a half, and I'm not really feeling this hour and a half so far because you got about forty minutes of the movie left, and I expect more fighting and creatures. And we're in the third act now, I'd imagine. I would love to see the um, the, the actual miniseries of this movie. They, they cut a lot out of it, from what I understand. Yeah, they did. Can't believe it's not available anywhere, you know? One of these days, uh, Arrow will put out a super special edition. Ringo Starr? That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's <laughs> another movie. It almost looked like... Take uh, the words right out of my mouth, man. <laughs> he's doing the Conan handshake and everything. Although that's a... I've seen that other things before, too, though. The grabbing of the forearm. Just saw in the last duel. Is that any good? I, I enjoyed it. You know, I, I tell folks, if you're a victim of sexual assault or, you know, uh, sensitive to that... You know, fast forward those scenes, but besides that, it's it's pretty solid. Which is the motivation for the last duel every time Matt Damon leaves town, the the piggish, you know, son of whatever lineage he is, uh goes to give his wife a visit and gives the old pickle tickle unwanted and yeah. Then the last duel happens. But I, I think it's a uh, it's a return to form for Ridley Scott. I think it's really good. See, so you didn't say it right. You didn't just say it like this. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> well, I like Matt Damon and things, though. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this, this is the point, and I'm like, oh, and then this is where we're getting the futurist issue. Well, yeah. You have to bring the future in because it's in the fucking title, apparently. But it's like they remembered halfway through, like, oh, right, that's right, it's from the future. <laughs> <laughs> I 
G, you think? Burr, burr, burr. Where's the word? One of my favorite Family Guy bits ever. It's repetitive, but it's fucking hilarious. I'm gonna have a threesome. And <laughs> be ashamed to, to waste all these eligible bachelorettes on the island. Oh, that don't sound promising. <laughs> now enjoy your food. You're always gonna go plow some of the native girls. So you can when make... did they get to Hawaii? Huh? <laughs> Polynesian, Polynesian. See, that boat looks much more well constructed. Yes. The other one, not so much. Not so much. This guy's gonna discover some And why shit, did huh? he leave his weapons right there anyway? Uh, just in case, I guess. Oh, uh, what do you find? He found something. Oh, that's... That, I know why he left it there. To further, further the plot, that's why. Oh, a laser blast. <laughs> the fuck? <t> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's called the Aura of the that's Hunters the from the Future, the but... Of the month. Yeah, like, where the fuck the laser blast fit in? And then, you know, hmm. Eora the Hunter from the Future comes, yes. <sighs> it's like now you're stop plowing all the young ways. It's time to come home. Like, but I don't want to. So this is like coming to America. He's going to Queens to go sow his wild oats, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's betrothed <laughs> to somebody else. Pew, pew. <laughs> Think prop masters and shit like that ever get tired of building these big elaborate sets just to have motherfuckers like, oh, you know, know what we're gonna do? We're gonna burn them down. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine something like, you know, we got one shot of this, like Reggie's house in, in uh, Phantasm 2. <laughs> yeah. We got this one house, we're gonna make it explode. We only got one shot of this, though, guys. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Reggie's house in Phantasm 2, not his actual house, but his fictional house, uh, was a real house. They blew up for that scene. They got it in all one take, though. Yeah, they did. Like well, they, you, you kind of had to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they have enough money to do it in more than one take. I remember asking Angus about that. I'm like, what was it, is, like, if there was any truth to it? And he's like, oh, yes. Like, we got it in one take. I'm like, I, hats off to you, sir, for not flinching. Yeah. <laughs> he did walk away kind of flawlessly, didn't he? It's like explosion. Unlike it's... James Woods and vampires when they tried doing the same thing. And he, uh. <laughs> he jerks like somebody gave him a three-knuckler up the old poop chute. People, people diss that movie. I think it's because of their own personal political convictions for James Woods. And I'm like, yeah, you guys Oh, I, I love the movie. I, I'm I, just uh, picking on his uh, walking away from the <laughs> explosion unheroically. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, people talk about the, oh, the dialogue, blah, blah, blah. Well, I know it's not as good as, you know, Big Trouble in Little China, but the same kind of feeling that his dialogue. He's like a more uh, leather-clad Jack Burton. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I love me some vampires. I don't understand why people diss on that movie so much. They're doing a private sign, T Thomas Ian Nicholas, for, 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 for T T Thomas Ian, uh, whatever. The, the the vampire from that movie and, and Terry Silver from um, Karate Kid 3 and Cobra Kai, respectively. Um, and that's the two things they advertise. And I'm like, that guy's been in more than that. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> He's in, like, freaking 25, 50-cent action movies. Probably some made by PM Entertainment. Oh, I'd guarantee it. 
Oh, so you should have took that one with you. She wants, she wants that ass, your. <laughs> if, that, if that ain't coming, fuck me, guys. I don't know what is. Yeah. <laughs> She's DTF. Don't stand in the sail, you fucking moron. It's got holes in it as it is. Look, Pog, the sun. We're terrified Breath. of that. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Zelda the Windraker. <laughs> Get out your tiny flute, Willis, and play, play us a tune. <laughs> well, that's the Ocarina. I'm sorry, the Ocarina of Time. Please don't shit shame me there, fucking, uh, you know, Zelda fans. It's like every, every time I, I was well, I got back to the rest of the old film, I seen the caption that says, Z raspy breathing, re re referring to the zombies. I want to say, first of all, how do your zombies run and how do your zombies have fucking raspy breathing? And they'll, know, they'll, right? they'll, they'll say, oh, they're not zombies, they're infected. And I'll say, that's, <laughs> I'll say, that's your fucking excuse for everything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the people originally infected by the T virus, those were infected people, but the people that they bite are, are, are zombies, okay? Lala! Oh, man. Is it Clytus? Tell me, it's, tell me it's Clytus. Uh, <laughs> you're not wrong! He does have a Dr. Claw vibe going for him. Which is one of the biggest That's, things, um, the biggest thing they got wrong from that fucking Matthew Broderick film is, uh, the, the talking car and the fact that you saw Mr. Claw, Dr. Claw everywhere. That's just, um, Lua Dread from off of Captain Power. <laughs> oh, I had those toys secondhand. So now we've switched from Conan the Barbarian to Undertaker face fucking Darth Vader over here. Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Great looking set though, mm -hmm. I gotta say. Oh yeah, magnificent. Yeah, that erect temple looks like the place I have to go. What are you gonna do with that rock? They got fucking laser beams. You've seen it already. Shit! It's a robot man. Um, I'm your sister's brother's cousin's friend's former roommate. <laughs> <laughs> what does that make us? Absolutely nothing. Pew. I kind of resent I kind of resent Spaceballs now a little bit because it's the only only Mel Brooks one with dated jokes in it. Right. Still, even the worst Mel Brooks movie is still better than most movies. This is true. It's true. But still, now that I know better, I could well watch. If I had to choose one, I'd watch History of the World or The Producers or. Uh, over that movie. No wonder they don't let The Undertaker talk. Man. <laughs> no, they, they proved that with the uh, I'm the big dog and you're playing in my yard gimmick. You, you paid that one time, you know. <laughs> you had too much Undertaker then. Favorite Taker? Ministry Undertaker. That's my favorite Taker. American bad ass for me. Uh, that's what I'm talking about—the fucking big dog in my yard gimmick. I didn't care for that. I I, I did it. I I did enjoy seeing Chuck pull on those motorcycles. They were fucking beautiful, though. Every time Taker would come out to the ring, come out a motorcycle, and uh, I don't know if still making motorcycles, Chuck Palumbo, but they look fucking awesome. Yeah, I remember the time the Undertaker motorcycle didn't work. <laughs> Wasn't he trying to run over Hulk Hogan or something like that? I think so. I got a, I got a, oh, look at the look at the old man titties just hanging out. 
touch them, you know you want to. It's like, thanks, not Julian Sands, for showing us the way. <laughs> He looks a lot like Julian Sands, though. The movie does take one hell of a like tonal change difference here. <laughs> okay, it's called Your Hunter from the Future. You had to get to the future part eventually. Right, right. right. <laughs> That's the thing I think I love about this movie. It just makes like such a one eighty change. It's like, oh yeah, did you forget that Hunter from the Future was in the title? We're going to remind you. <laughs> So even in the future, they have MRIs? Okay. Yep, yep, yes, mm -hmm. yes, indeed. They're predicting so many things. This is like that scene in The Exorcist. Hmm. Just flashing those bright lights at Reagan to piss off Pazuzu. So free your hands so you can touch yourself <laughs> and I get aroused. Hmm. Boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Bullshit, yes, my name is your. <laughs> my name is your, bitch. If he got a head. Is he supposed to be one of the knights of the round table? You would think so, but this film's not that smart. <laughs> they, they didn't make that connection. We made it here 30 years later. But but, but then again, they did make Optimus Prime uh, a knight of the round table for some reason. I don't know what that was about, but that, 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 uh, uh. That, that was a plot point, Willis. I know. I watched last <laughs> night come, coming home from work. I watched the, <laughs> the whole movie. I was like, this shit still don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> And in the future, a robot will become king. No, oh, there's little Yor, little blonde child. <laughs> he doesn't want to touch his daddy, though. I can see why. Looking at the future of my hairline. Oh, how, shit. How beautiful <laughs> they are. How, how Aryan they are. They made the perfect child. Hmm. Rip Torn? That's that's <laughs> that's another movie, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's another sword and sandal picture. This Bama just came out of nowhere. Free I'm, him, Michelle Pfeiffer's stunt double. See, he, he has the big medallion. That means he's the king. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is, too. I love the way this film is going. Your friends mean nothing. You should have the voice of Skeletor. <coughs> <laughs> That's who he sounds like, Franklin Jella. Who lay Franklin Jella? <laughs> yeah, right. And I have been waiting so very long for this. Just fucking selling it, man. I know Masters is in a good mood, but Langella's fucking gold in it. <laughs> the Alpha and the Omega. It's like CM Punk. CM Punk totally pulled the bison on, on MJF on Wednesday, and I was fucking yeah. laughing my ass off. Me too, yeah. <laughs> he, he says, the day you met me was the best day of your life. To me, it was a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I was rolling and when I beat you at the pay-per-view it's just gonna be another Sunday <laughs> I was fucking dying man I was like he just pulled a fucking bison and most of the people that flew right over people's heads 
But uh <laughs> What's the point of that thing around your hips? Oh, to show your hip line and how thin you are. I, I get it, yes. This is how shoulder pads Famous will look in the future. This is how shoulder pads will look in the future. One solid Trust ridge. me, it's not, a, it's not a fad that will go out in the 80s. No. It's amazing. You can hardly see the hot glue... Uh, Oh. Putting those outfits together. See, this supposed to be lepers too. To talk about fucking atomic blast and shit. I love beneath the planet of the apes. Which is the only real flaw of those movies that I really, I really don't care for the second and third one. If you've never seen them before, you have to watch them to know who the underground people are in the fourth and the fifth one. <laughs> What movie was that? Uh, the Planet of the Apes series, the original one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't give a fuck about Zero and, and um, Cornelius going to the the the, the present day San Francisco. <laughs> but they got to figure out a way to bring Ricardo Montalban into that. This is true. This is true. And everything needs a little more Ricardo Montalban, as far as I'm concerned. He classes up the joint. Then you get Austin Stoker in the next one, so that's always good. Con! 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 He looks like Ricardo Montalbano's aged very badly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not enough sun for us. This is why I look so pale. The sun reflects off my giant medallion. Hmm. Did he steal that medallion from Flava Flav? Man, <laughs> you, you need to have a clock on that bitch. Dude, do look like a, a boule grip torn. <laughs> he looks like the dude, I um, forgot the character's name, but the dude from Kroll. Are you talking uh, about the beast? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got that game on my arcade. That game is hard as hell. <laughs> I'm sure they. Oh, I bet. I'm sure all these characters share a lot of the same looks from other sword and sandal flicks from this time. Oh, it's the mirror room. Money, any kind of amount of money that they probably had some of the same production designers use the same set pieces. They stole this from Conan the Destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I'm, I'm waiting for Andre the Giant to come out as the as the monster. <laughs> Grabbing Conan's feet, swinging around. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm still laughing at the um, Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> no, what's, what's that? I didn't think it was one. Him and Sam Hayek. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch it. I, I didn't see that. I only saw a few. I was, I was at a bar, so it was loud. So I recall a couple of them, just not many of them. I know I'm waiting to see Doctor Strange too. <laughs> yeah, when I mean, the rumors, that's where they're gonna start filtering some of the X Men stuff. So I saw in the trailer. I'm pretty sure they sh uh, they they got Patrick Stewart up in there. Ultron's gonna be back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The rumor is Tom Cruise is gonna be a variant of Iron Man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. I mean, uh, that was one of the best re re uh, uh, reunions ever was James Spader and Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah. I've got no strings on me. Now <laughs> blow with this gentleman for that cocaine. RDJ's like, I don't live you that are. life. I don't live that life anymore, brother. <laughs> I don't blow guys for cocaine anymore. I know it's a fictional film, but that's my life. <laughs> you touched my ass, what the hell? <laughs> Be ashamed to waste this hall of mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> 
He turned the lights off, goddammit. I'm, I'm not cruel and heartless, man. I'll give you some mood lighting. <laughs> Uh-oh, lasers. Okay, if they're fucking cavemen, how do they usually have these fucking doors work and shit? I saw it once, in a movie. <laughs> Eh, typical movie logic. It's like, hey, how did uh, Michael Myers learn how to drive? Movie mm. logic. Maybe somebody that gave him lessons. <laughs> Good one. Since I barely know how to swing an axe, let me figure out this here keyboard. <laughs> the Rose of Fertility. <laughs> oh, that's not rapey at all. <laughs> This whole movie's kind of rapey, to be quite honest with you. Carry the germs of the radioactive fallout to our cities. You find yourself a clean one there, Yor. Don't be stingy now. That's all I'm looking for is clean women, I guess. So this spiritual sequel to Mars Needs Women? Oh, yeah. Look at him eyes. Goddamn. Uh-huh. It's like, yes. He's like, he coped up like shit. It's like, yes, we will have her. Take her to the land of your... Wait, what? Where the cocaine flows like wine. Well, it's in the salt water, bro. That's why I told her not to drink it. That will give you a stomach ache and will cause you to get high as fuck. But imagine the sexual relations. <laughs> he looked like one of the robots from what off is of, your, um, uh, Oh, sorry. Off of, um, um, the black hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. But they got Mario two mouths. So those 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 little little red dudes. Uh huh. Ugh. Oh, she picked the black one, Willis. Like, Check this out. They... How do they know she's genetically perfect? Huh. Superior to the slow-witted models. You know why? Because they're brown. They got big dicks. This is how those, those, those porn scenes happen where the white girl goes to find four black dudes. Inadvertently, <laughs> you know. Like, oh, we handle this shit right here. Somebody ordered four pizzas? <laughs> Next thing you know, they got a DVDA situation going on. She fire split wide open. Old man Buck Lauer should be, like, freaking out at this point. Like, what the fuck is all this technology shit? You need to fucking gave him some better clothes by now. They gotta put their heads together like a demolition man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, laser blast. <laughs> uh. Oh shit, he disappeared. <laughs> oh, they got a G.I. Joe and Cobra thing going on. One's got green, one's got red willis. Uh-huh. That's how you know they're the bad guys. Well, it's just kind of like Star Wars, you know? It's all color-coded. <laughs> Are you ready to fight? I feel infused. And I'm pretty sure you just had sex with your daughter mentally. <laughs> she now has a baby in her. Which is probably one of the most awkward conversations in a John Carpenter film ever. In Starman, where they're on the they're on the train or like, hey, by the way, I fixed her womb. And I also put a baby in you. <laughs> it turned into a TV show. Hmm. Robert Hayes was TV star man, right? Yeah. 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 That's not a bad switch. It didn't last very long, but that's not a bad switch. Would that go two seasons? Something like that. 
Robert I, Hayes will always be the voice of Iron Man. <laughs> no, I fucking airplane all the way, Willis. I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I saw Homeward Bound before I saw Airplanes. So I guess that's my first Robert Hayes experience. <laughs> Goddamn childhood. <laughs> Every time I, I, even at the end of the movie, when I know uh, Don and Michi, the, the Golden Retriever, is going to come back from over that hill, I still, I still get really excited when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's fucking Don Amici, okay? <laughs> There's some prestige there. Just just like in, in Harry and Anderson's when he first meets Harry. I, he, the look on his face is priceless. I get really excited. Uh-oh, bridge too far. They're going to transport their castle by the back to Transylvania now. I call it transsexual transformation. So they can do the time walk again. Then <laughs> <laughs> you get the song, you get, depending on what version of the film you're watching, which I think is a great song. I think it's Travis East, not in the, all, all versions of that movie. Of the superhero song, the end of Rocky Horror. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Down, Chocolate Man. It's just like Star Wars, see? He's doing the swing across the yeah. bridge. He did everything there but kiss her and say, for luck. Get up, get up. Oh, I have fools around me. Income yeah. books. What does Skeletor call him? I've heard three calls him. Willis, he probably do the voice and everything. Uh, bumbling something. Or, uh, He's bumbling, fools! Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Alan Oppenheimer, for your voice, sir. Oh, the Flying Graysons! <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been watching Titans, too. That movie, that shows the shit, man. I love it. I finished all of them out already. It was a good show. Oh, it's it's just something that's been sitting there, Willis, forever. I just haven't watched any of it yet. <laughs> so that old man would not be doing that. Man, yeah, thank you, Stuntman, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you, much younger Stuntman. Thank you for not putting hydrochloric acid on the ropes. <laughs> yeah. You're quite powerless without your army of robots, Whip Torn. Now, if they, if they fucking went to Polynesia land, they would find all kinds of fertile females, but they only want, they only want that one, though. So this plot has turned to hell comes to Frogtown all of a sudden, and you know, <laughs> she's the last, she's the last fertile female in the whole land. Oh, I'll leave that one bundle of space dynamite's gonna do it, guys. You need much more bundles of space dynamite. Ew. Yeah, what are you hesitating for? Oh, I'm sorry for dramatic effect. Right. What happened to your disappearing powers? It's not convenient for him to use them at this time. <laughs> oh, Willis, he's got the glow. Uh-huh. <laughs> the power to blow his hand. Bye-bye now. Yeah, then pale him with the candy cane. Oh, that is unfortunate, sir. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Come on, the bomb will, the one bomb will do the rest. <laughs> Talk about sticking it in and breaking it off. Yeah. Basically. 
wonder where the hell this is shot, or like what that location is like. I'd imagine this to be. I'd imagine this is in the studios in Italy, the way that what I mentioned earlier. It's, it's, mm. All the all the outdoor stuff is, is Turkey, though. Oh, this spike is inconvenient. I'm still walking, though, bitch. <laughs> Uh -oh. See, he automatically knows how to use their guns, and that's a that's a that's a fine trait. Oh, it's just a slight burn. Get over it. I'm gonna die now, though. Pew pew. <laughs> Let's run towards them. Yeah, sure. Seems like a good idea. He did. Oh, press slam, Willis. <laughs> that boy's got a family. Went all Lex Luger on him. <laughs> the, the Lex Express, if you will. That's what that man called his penis. Well, it still calls it, I'm sure. It still works. You know, steroids. <laughs> Movement ass Again, it's unfair. The only pair of bouncing boobs you see in this film are from that guy. He's not going to die. They were putting too much into it. Don't shoot me in the titty. <clears throat> it's, my, it's my good nipple. The other one's inverted and weird looking. <laughs> Thanks, one more second, I might have shit my loincloth. Yeah. Alright. Pog, get a move on. Bring your slammers, we'll have a game. You know, about to get it on the spaceship with the full, um, flashlights on the back of it. <laughs> Is George Clinton on board? To do the flashlight song proper? <laughs> Don't take off yet. They're ever ready batteries. Oh, this is painful and inconvenient. <laughs> Yours world forsaken the name. Oh, well, yeah, they have the woman to pilot that thing, I guess. Oh, yep. <laughs> he makes wild things look tame tonight. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bring his superior knowledge. Prove that they're making the same mistakes as their forefathers. Will he succeed? <laughs> You know why? Yes, he will. Because it's yours, world. He's the man. <laughs> oh, man. I, I had fun, man, with this movie. I'm going to kick it to Willis first, though. What, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on your, and what do you give it 1 to 10? I used to watch this all the time as a kid. I used to laugh at it because of the goddamn song. I give it about an 8. Cool. Cameron. Oh, I love this movie for all the right reasons, all the wrong reasons. It's it's a fun, fun movie. Uh, it, it's just craziness. I'd love to see an uncut version of it sometime, but uh, uh, I'll give it a seven. Not with Willis with that eight, though. I mean, the theme song is amazing. You know, the the costumes, uh, the 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 models and the monsters look great. Um, the outdoor stuff and the, the turkey stuff looks good. And, you know, Red Brown, you know, for being like a discount action star in people's eyes, he really sells it in pretty much everything that he's in. So I, I got to give him that. And um, I enjoy your quite a bit, and I, I can see why people people love it. And if you haven't seen Yor, you're watching with us. Um, 
Not sorry for all the nipple jokes. Not sorry at all. Uh, <laughs> no regrets. No regrets, man. <laughs> it's a weird little hybrid of a movie, though. Uh, 8 out of 10, though. I, I, I really enjoy it, though. I'd watch it without us talking through it again. Um, <laughs> Willis, uh, with you guys have been away for a little bit now. You're taking a small hiatus. Uh, when are you guys coming back with an NFW? I have no idea. Willis, Willis is so helpful. They were there right in the middle of the, the what Willis hates uh, segment of the show. Yeah, so they haven't gave me a clue when we will start back again, but I'm not looking forward to it at all. <laughs> okay, everyone, what's coming for Cinema de- Degeneration? Um, actually, as of this recording, I'm doing an all-new show tomorrow called Simply Short Sundays, where I'm doing kind of little 15, 20-minute micro-reviews of Movies that maybe don't quite uh, deserve the the deep dive discussion, so I'm I'm doing that, and I have another new show debuting in about a week called Without Warning, where I call up my buddy Corey Dawson and surprise him with a film topic and <laughs> test his uh, his uh, pop culture knowledge with, with surprise topics. Are flying space vaginas going to be about? There might be. I would hope so, man. With a show like Without Warning, you can't disappoint me with with the, with the flying space pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> there might be at least one. S- speaking because of what kind of world would it, would it be without flying space pajamas? I don't want to yeah. live in that world. Yeah, yeah. All the shows you can hear me on, you can hear me under the Cinebeef banner, including this one. You can check it out in a two gigabit commentary feed, respectively. Um, and my my uh, other show, which is on the Tesla Fortitude Podcast Network. With Heather Powell, uh, Untapped Gems. Uh, next show is going to be um, well. You hear the first one now. It's a don't don't torture a duckling. Next show is going to be Buckaroo Banzai across the eighth dimension. Will be the next nice. show. Um, but uh, this show, uh, Dan went to do it. We had a lot of fun doing the you, you and your. But uh, to go with your uh, speaking of Jack Palance and Oliver Reed, uh, we're going to do Gore next on the show and I'm I'm looking forward to doing that too. And uh your gore double bill sound like a good idea at the time, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> there we go. But for now we're damn glad to you guys are listening and we're damn glad to be back. This has been your two jig minimum commentaries. We'll see you next time. Peace. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>